Wow. Hey guys, it's been a while, hasn't it? I hope you're all going well. I was actually meant to make this video probably like a couple of months ago, but always found it kind of excuses not to. This video is a summary of sorts, I guess. It's just a bit of a word vomit between just a summary of everything and stuff. And there'll be a little bit of skateboarding that I uh, had a little session that I filmed when I was originally meant to make this video. That was like a couple of months ago. So they'll be tacked in there in the middle. So there'll be a little bit of skating and a little bit of talking in this video. So the end of 2023 was just a bit of a whirlwind, therefore kind of putting the brakes on everything, stopping videos, stopping skating and things like that. I went out for a skate when I was originally actually gonna film and edit this and upload it and stuff like that. I almost fell over just throwing, throwing down. So that was a bit of a worry, but don't expect too much from the footage that I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. So story time. I stopped skating probably like two weeks before my footy grand final, so I couldn't get myself injured and stuff like that. So there was that little period there. And then actually during the game, I actually cracked two of my ribs and therefore that uh, kind of put me in a bit of a pickle there. Like during the game and the day of it, didn't hurt that much, but like a little bit later in the next first week and the two weeks after, I personally really like really struggled. Like I was struggling breathing a little bit, coughing. Coughing is like a nightmare when you do anything in that rib cage area, it really does hurt. After a few weeks, it actually felt a little bit better. And so I went out and tried, got, tried when I saw I went out and tried to get back on the board and I felt all right going around and stuff. But whenever I landed heavy or ha didn't land correctly, I could really feel the, the shadow through my rib cage. So I thought I'm gonna give it a bit more time and uh, take some time off the skateboard just to try and get that right. And then after that sort of happened, cricket season rolled around and like I started playing cricket and that takes up a bit of time as well. And while we're talking about like lack of time and stuff is like having a newborn and the busy part of work was like, it was coming up and went through that and stuff like that. So it's a lot of like, it's just pretty much just excuses. I know other people are probably out there doing it the same and, but I just, I couldn't quite, couldn't quite do it myself. So just like the mixture, mixture of like injuries, cricket, life, and then work as well. I just like filming, filming YouTube videos and skating and just stuff sort of went by the wayside. So I do actually film and edit full time for a job and that. So sometimes when I come home, it is a little bit like hard and motivating, which is like disappointing for me, but like it's hard and motivating to film and stuff when I've been doing it all day. I really do enjoy creating like content for YouTube and stuff like that. Um, also another, aspect that is struggling and like kind of more so now is like everything in the industry so so for doing trying to do product reviews and stuff like that everything in the skate industry has gone up really much like high the price has been jacked up you're spending 140 150 160 now for boards in australia shoes are the only things that are kind of staying around that reasonable price but decks and other accessories and stuff are really taking a hit and I just don't, I can't see how skate companies are all staying afloat in this day and age because I'm not saying we're in a full recession, but the economy is tight. A lot of people have stopped spending. So how are these skate, uh, skate companies staying afloat? I have seen a couple crumble and fall lately. So I'm not surprised if, if there, there is more actually gonna like fold soon. Moving on to the skateboarding. I finally got out to have a bit of a skate. We've actually had a bit of a, like a mixed mixed summer here in Australia or Melbourne anyway. It's been raining, warmish, hasn't been that hot. It's actually got hotter as we're into autumn now. But I'm gonna tack this footage in on here now. Hopefully you uh, have a watch, have an enjoy. Let me know what you think and uh, we'll check back in after, after it's happened.
nothing special there, just like kind of a basic skateboarding for me. I was just feeling the water, see how I was personally going that day, kind of twinged my back. Just injuries and stuff like that as I was getting older, just landed a bit funny and just sent a shockwave through my body. But a few things there, a bit of fun. But what does the actual future hold for me and this channel and stuff like that? Personally, I'm not too sure. I really do actually want to keep making more content. I really do enjoy it and stuff like that. I'm not sure what type of content, like, like I mentioned, like the product review stuff gets hard because it's very costly and stuff like that. Only a house, been working on that as well. So mortgages, interest rates go up and stuff like that. It's like, it's just one of those bad storms for me. Like I said, I'm sure other people are doing it perfectly good out there. I just got to figure out a way how I can personally do it so I can juggle everything and make it work the best I can. But in saying that, like what type of content do you guys like to watch or see the most really? Because from your feedback is kind of how I can kind of tailor the content that I can post and kind of make towards the channel and stuff like that. Like TikTok is updating, it's recently added 30 minutes videos or it's going to add 30 minute videos. And that's like showing me that while well, TikTok's not making any money through their ad revenue as it is now because people can just skip through ads really quickly unlike the YouTube model. And even recently on the YouTube model, I've been seeing longer unskippable ads too, which is actually quite interesting. I think this year will be like the year of like the longer form content, maybe making a comeback. Still with that short form content to like booster it and stuff like that. But a lot of people on TikTok are getting sick of ads because silly season or like selling season just finished up. So ads were everywhere. You can scroll through TikTok. You can even scroll through any platform at the moment. And like out of every five posts, you'll get one or two ads, which is too much. Users don't like that. I feel like a lot of users actually want to go back to watching a bit more long form, long form content, but I'm not too sure. I've got to do a bit more research in that for my own work personally. But I hope you guys have been going well and stuff like that. Make sure to say hi down in the comments and all that good stuff. Love to hear your thoughts. Love to uh, get around and replying to old comments and stuff like that because I've been a little bit slack on those things. But until the next video guys, which hopefully will be soon, I'll uh, have a good one and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.